Good night, everybody. Amen. Good night. Good. <laughs> Hallelujah. First off, to confirm what Pastor was talking about also earlier, about being connected to you. I think it was three times already I joined and I saw Pastor in my dream. Twice I remembered clearly. Once he was praying for me, praying for me in the spirit. Secondly, I believe it was like two or three weeks ago. I remember texting you and letting you know. Or maybe two weeks ago. Um, we were both in a dream and it's like someone was afflicted. They were in front of us and we were both praying for that person. And as he started, the Holy Ghost took over and he started speaking in tongues. It's like I looked at him and I just started speaking in tongues. I mimicking everything he was saying word for word in tongues. I don't know what I was saying, but that was the dream. Uh, from that, last week I came in kind of late and I heard him um, telling everyone about the young lady that he prayed for and the spirit left her and all that stuff. That was my niece. And I was one of the witnesses to that. My niece went to Jamaica, perfectly fine, for a wedding, vacation, and came back. By the time she came back that Thursday night, by the, the Thursday morning, by the Thursday night, she was in the hospital, headed for a mental hospital, totally gone. We don't know what was going on. Nobody knew what was going on. But anyway, they ended up taking her to the mental hospital. So we couldn't get her out till a few days later. They decided to give her psych meds and other meds. At this point, we didn't have control over that. But as soon as they got her out, we took her, right? We brought her here to pastor and we met with him. And as he was praying, her grandmother was standing there. She said, sit in here, her dad and me. And as pastor was praying, it's like I felt something move between me and her dad like you know something brush against me and I opened my eyes I didn't see anything so I'm like okay maybe it's just me so I close my eyes and as he's praying again and we're worshiping I open my eyes I know I saw like a shadow or something just move to the door so of course me I'm blinking like you know try, still looking trying to see if I actually saw something or if it was just me and until pastor was done and I forgot what he was doing and he mentioned it. Like, did someone feel, you know, a breeze or something pass? And as I opened my mouth and said it, my brother-in-law said, you felt that too? I felt the same thing, but I looked and I didn't see anything, so I just ignored it. But to God be the glory, she got her prayer, she got her healing, she's still coming on. She's not taking her meds, because we took her right off of that. The same day she came out of the hospital and came here, she haven't take, taken any meds or anything. So to God be the glory. Hallelujah. 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 To God alone be all the glory. Hallelujah. And that deliverance is established. Amen. That healing is, uh, is, is completely uh, uh, established Amen. in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.